how to year six. Hope you're doing all right. Um, sorry I can't be there with you. My wife and I are still isolating, but looking forward to seeing you all, hopefully, before the end of the school year. I'm here with your math challenge this week, making pie charts. And it's not as delicious as it sounds, but a pie chart is a visual representation of some sort of numerical data. Um, you've made them before using a website on an iPad and information that you collected from your classmates. And it's called a pie chart because normally what it is in the, it's in a circular shape um, and each different bit of data is represented as a slice of that pie and oftentimes they're uneven slices of the pie. Um, so what we're gonna be doing is I'm gonna show you how to take some data, some boring looking data in a table and turn that into a pie chart. And then what you really need to do, what's really crucial for this week is that you take the year six survey and we're gonna then use that data in the next math challenge the following week to make pie charts again. Um, but this time we'll be using a different set of data. So yeah, it's really crucial that you take that, that, you take that quiz. Uh, if you're in school, you can take it on the iPads. If you're at home, I'll leave a link in the description of the video and you can take it there. It's also gonna be on the uh, home newsletter that's been sent out to your parents. So please don't forget to take that and I'll be sending the data to Amna and Nicole over the coming days. So we took a poll of all the teachers at Lark Hall about their favorite lockdown activities and these were the results. We gave them four options to choose from. Cooking, eating was an option, reading books, watching films, and exercising. So you can see the results here, and we want to take this information and turn it into something that looks about like that. Okay, and you can kind of pick and choose a little bit how you want to make your pie chart look, but this is essentially what we're going for. All right, here we are in the learning shed. <coughs> um, got the board here, it says teacher's favorite lockdown activities. Now I need to draw my pie. Okay, we know what shape a pie is in, right? Seen a pie before? It's in the shape of a circle. Okay, I'm not gonna freehand it because I don't think it'll turn out very good. So I found this uh, cooking pan right here um, that um, is in the shape of a circle perfectly. I'm gonna see if I can use it to my advantage and try and use that to to make my pie here. So it's not. Alright, hold it up. Yep, already right, standing. Alright, hold it still. All the way around. Oops. Under the handle. Back around to the top. That'll just have to do. All right. So if we look back at our table of information, table with our data on it, um, there are four different options to choose from. There were 36 teachers who took the survey, um, and of those teachers, the most of those, the most popular option was watching films. They had 16, whereas the least popular was exercising, which only had two. We're gonna need to try and figure out a way to to represent this accurately, because we know that we can't divide it into four equal portions. That just wouldn't it wouldn't look right. All right, so I've got my pie here. I've made my little key to show what each color is gonna be representing. Um, now I need to start creating my pie chart. Um, so we know that there were 36 teachers who took the survey. That's the total number of teachers who took the survey here. Um, and then each of those teachers had one option to choose. So we got 12 and 6, and 16 actually, and 2. That adds up to our 36 teachers. So let's start with cooking and eating. If 12 teachers chose that, that's 12 teachers out of 36. Let's look at this fraction for a second. That's 12 out of 36. Can we try and reduce that fraction a little bit to make it easier to work with? I'm sure you know your times tables. You know to 12. Uh, 36 falls in the 12 times table. And we can reduce that to one third. So we know that a third of the teachers chose cooking and eating as their favorite activities during lockdown. I'm not gonna be super precise here. That's gonna be your challenge the following week is to see how we can be incorporating angles into our pie charts. But what I know is that I want to take up about one third of my pie chart here to show cooking and eating. Okay, so what I'm trying to explain here um, very poorly 
is I'm thinking about the angles when I'm drawing in my sections of the pie here. So I saw that 12 36th, which is the number of people who chose cooking and eating, would be about one third of the pie. So I tried to draw that first section to be about one third. I saw that reading was 6 36th or 1 6th. So that would be another slice six of the pie, not right there. So I'm not exactly sure what happened, but there's been a little bit of a malfunction and my camera stopped recording. I didn't know it. And I went, went on making my pie chart here. Um, but as you can see, watching films was clearly the most popular lockdown activity amongst the teachers, followed not far behind by cooking and eating. Um, whereas reading and exercise, sometimes you really need to be motivated to do those things. What's important here is that you guys take the year six survey so that we can use that data to create our own pie charts that look like this. Okay? And I'll show you then how you can use your numbers to help you decide what's going to be the best angle in your pie chart. Okay, that, that really takes it up another, another notch right there. That's, that's pretty difficult stuff. Um, but in the meantime, enjoy and hopefully see you soon. Take the survey. Be good.